Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight with uh, kind of like Fiddler on the Roof. We're going to start off with the sunrise. This is from Lynn Richardson. This is out by Paul. Now, here is the sunset swiftly as we gaze. This is uh, from Sharon Harvey Borla, and you'll notice this is the Yellowstone River by Forsyth. Cool looking couple of pictures. I'll notice the smoke not quite so bad over by Forsyth right now, but let's move on and show you what we have. Here's the way it looks in Billings right now. Of course, you're at Montana Fair in the current temperature, 75 degrees. We got a northeast wind at six miles per hour. Humidity is right at about 22% at this hour. And you'll notice here our high temp today, 88 degrees. Normal high, 86. The record 99 back in 1970. Record low is 39 back in 2002. No precip to talk about today, so we're still behind normal for the month, but we're still barely ahead of normal for the year. At 1124, only need to be at 972, so at least thanks to that very wet spring we had, we're still ahead of normal this late into the year. Our current temps are into the 60s and 70s out in the west. Back here in the east, also into the 60s in most cases. 75 here in Billings, 74 over Mile City, but up here in the northeast, we're into the upper 60s over there at Williston and uh, also at Glendive right now, 69 degrees. But look at our reported highs. These were the hot spots today. Glendive, Miles City, and Harden or Jordan all into the 90s today. 92 over in Glendive for one of the hot spots. Elsewhere, just a lot of 80s across Montana. Uh, it was a little cooler over Cody. They were 78 degrees, 83 over Sheridan, 87 over Warland today. But the, right now, our Doppler radar and satellite imagery shows things are just kind of quiet across the state. We had a band of showers here in the southeast earlier this evening. They have since moved out of the way. And now we just see a couple of scattered showers trying to pop up here by Missoula. These may be false echoes due to all the smoke and the radar beam actually bouncing off the smoke and giving us a false echo. So let's move on. We'll show you what's happening back here. Uh, today we had kind of a what we call a zonal flow where the jet stream comes from the west and by the time it made it into the Billings area it was traveling east so that kicked out those showers earlier on and just kind of whisked it out pretty easily but also drifted that smoke into our area as well today. Now tonight at the surface there's a low pressure cell we had earlier in the day that continues to slide out of the region. High pressure moving into the region but look at this here comes another surface trough just like what we had today. That continues to create some windy conditions across the western part of the state tomorrow. That's why we have another red flag warning for western Montana. Not so much in the way of thunder showers just the gusty winds. Any fires going will probably go out of go out of control in a hurry because of the windy conditions through that region. Then on Friday Friday night that moves out of the way by Saturday afternoon. Here comes another cold front. It's going to hold off to move through here until Saturday night. And so Saturday will be kind of a warm day and then Sunday will be a little bit cooler as that cold front moves on through tonight. We're going to cool down to the 40s and 50s out in the west, maybe 61 degrees over in Helena. Back here in eastern Montana, the same deal, mostly into the 40s or 50s and 60s. Uh, places like Hardin will be 59 degrees, 59 over Broadus, Livingston 52 tonight, 43 over West Yellowstone and places like Sydney will be all the way back up to 50. 8 degrees for the overnight low. Tomorrow, back to the uh, 80s and low 90s again with mostly sunny skies. Not even a drop of rain anywhere in the state. It should be very dry and starting to get pretty doggone hot out there. Now tonight at midnight, it's going to be 69 with clearing skies. You'll see mostly clear skies in the morning, back up to 89 degrees by 6 p.m. So getting kind of sunny and also getting kind of hot tomorrow. We'll actually top out at 90 on Friday. Saturday, 88 degrees, 85 on Sunday. And then we stay into those 80s all the way through next week, Thursday, about 87 degrees with about a 30% chance of rain. On the day of the eclipse, it looks like the view is not going to be too bad. Mostly sunny, maybe a few clouds and 86 degrees. Let's go back to Jay.